Now then, welcome back to another episode of Avant on the FTOG server. Welcome back, welcome back. How are you all doing today? Hope you're having a great time. Hope you're going to enjoy the episode. Hope you're going to give it a like. Go on, do it now. If you feel like it, just do it now. Right now, that's it. Awesome, thank you. Yes, today, or yes, today... Um, as the title of the video says, we are going to be dealing with solar. Solar panels. I've been messing around with different solar panels up here to get me power supply into this capacitor bank. I've been uh, I've been recently sorting out solar panels from extra utilities to give me enough power generation to enable my flight. Now, there is a little bit of a story going on with the Angel Ring. And I'm going to play a little clip of that in a very short while uh, but now as you can see I can fly or at least yeah I can fly I can fly and I can look at my wonderful warehouse from a distance and all that kind of stuff I can now get up on the roof without having to jump stack and fly around the server and check things out and do things as I need to uh, which is good which is very good but I want to do some more experimenting with some more solar power very soon there's a couple of reasons for this um one of the reasons is here in the base and the other reason is out at the mining dimension so we'll teleport there quickly now over here at the mining dimension i have been quarrying out some holes oh yes i've been quarrying out some holes and i've quarried all the way down to there now Getting in and out of this hole was a very long drop jump stacking all the way up. You can see there, there that I've stacked up there and you can see there that I did a stacking up there and I tried to build a staircase and then did some stacking down there. Very difficult. Now I can fly, that's a lot better. Um, but the carrying of the capacitor banks over here is starting to become... A little bit tiresome a little bit tiresome just a little bit tiresome the uh, the the moving of uh, the blocks is quick and easy and that's lovely and everything's great and everything's fantastic it's all mining it all out but because it mines it out so quickly it uses up all the power so quickly so I would like to find a solution to add a ton of RF I mean this is 3,000 RF per tick that this is currently using to do the blocks you can see it's a um, this is at a, a minus 3000 rf per tick so it is using up 3000 rf per tick in here which is quite a lot quite a lot and uh, it takes a lot to be able to dig all this out now i could go with a different uh, quarry technique a mech um <laughs> mechanus um, yeah, a mechanus. I'll I'll say right. Um, mechanus would do like a an ore mining, so it would mine just the blocks out, and that's the thing. The the mech miner that would work nicely. Uh, but I'm thinking solar for starters, right? I want to explore the different solar power type generator type things, and so we've got a few in mind already in my little. Uh, J.I. list here if we can get back in quickly enough there we go yeah um, we've got a few here solutions here so there's mechanism generators which is solar generators solar powers uh, with solar panels and all this kind of stuff and they're they're okay I want to go for them at some point but right now I'm staying away from mechanism I've been using these actually addition solar panels uh, each one is okay, I guess. It costs a diamond and a fair amount of iron and some advanced coils which cost a little bit of gold as well as some redstone and black quartz. Not too expensive. Nine, uh, a diamond per solar panel and a load of iron is okay. But those actually additions um, ones here only generate 8 RF per tick. So at the minute they're full up because it's daylight it's free daylight is free people if you didn't know the sun is free free reusable power so it 
regenerates these things okay, but it only does 8 RF per tick. As you can see there, it's only generating 8 RF per tick. Which means that after I've emptied them all out, it slowly but surely fills this up the rest of the way. Doesn't take too long, but it's still a bit of a bind waiting for it. I would like to have more supply that I could use. And I also had a little problem with my lava factory. The lava factory is currently producing lots of lava and lots of power still, which is go a good thing, a very good thing. Uh, but let's see if I can grab this. Can I get it? Yes, I can. Good, good. Uh, I forgot that that is no longer a block that I... Oh, man. Okay, let me let me fix this. Let me see. I can do... Uh, break that block there. That does that. And then place that block back down there. That'll block it all off. Okay. My mistake. I didn't put the... Uh, qu uh, the uh, What's it called? <laughs> the... Oh, I mean... The... The Arbalista. Alabaster. The Alabaster block. I haven't put the Alabaster block back underneath. So that's my mistake. And I haven't got an Alabaster block on me. So I can't replace it right now. But I'll fix that later. Um, yeah, so the the thing that was from Storage Network that was collecting the lava and putting it in to put it into all of these fluid places is no longer facing the way I want it to. It stopped working the way I expected it to. Uh, I've tried this mechanical user and I've started messing around with that. But... I can't seem to get the bucket in and out of there quickly and easily enough in the space that I've got to replace the other one. Now that shouldn't really be a problem, should it? Let me just show you this liquid, liquid, fluid liquidator. It doesn't want to face down anymore. It refuses. As you can see, I placed it so that it would be facing down at me and it automatically changes. In the latest update, that changed. It was facing down, and then it changed to showing the side view. I can rotate it around all of the north, south, east, west, but I can't make it face down into the lava anymore, which means I can't automatically put things back into there, which is a pain because these are now slowly but surely running out of their lava supply that I built up over the time that they were here. Still generating quite a lot of RF. It's still keeping this topped up. Still keeping this topped up. And it's helping to top up up there as well. But I need to figure out a way to uh, to do it faster. And then this fills up quickly enough. I mean, that's 214 RF per tick from all of the solar panels and those lava uh, heat generators. That's filling up fairly quick, but still. In order to do quarrying, I need it to fill up even faster. Uh, faster, faster, faster. I need something that produces 3,000 RF per tick in the mining dimension, or at least transfers to the mining dimension. So I was having a look at these from Ender.io, the pr photovoltaic cells. And these cost quite a bit to make, and they produce 40 RF per tick during the sunlight which is okay but still pretty expensive for the 40 when the solar panels cost me a diamond each for these kind of solar panels and they only do eight per tick this is costing me quite a bit more than just a single diamond and a bit of iron and it's 40 rf per tick the expense of it the expense of it and if i wanted to upgrade that some more there's this one which produces 10 this one which produces 40 and then there's this one which produces 160 and this one requires a an ender crystal some uh octa octa octade um octadic octadic capacitor yeah that one octadic capacitor um and three of these photovoltaic cells so that's quite expensive as well really isn't it so just checking around, I looked at these things from environmental tech. Now, I believe I saw Nonsanity, who is over here right now. I believe I saw Nonsanity's episode, and he's got one set up over here. This great big thing here is set up as a tier two. 
and I believe that, that generates quite a lot. Quite a lot. It's got a lot of blocks involved. I've got to make a lot of blocks to make it, but it does look like it's generating a lot of RF per tick. Uh, just uh, non sanity there, just doing some crafting or something in there. Um, yeah, so that looks like a good solar power. Even though it's uh, quite expensive, it's going to be quite uh, quite good at making the bulk of the workload for me in creating the power. So I would like to have a go at that today. And it looks like there's many different tiers, right? So tier one requires a load of lapis, a load of gold and a solar cell. Tier two requires a solar cell, two of the tier ones, some diamonds and lapis. Tier 3 is the solar tier 2s, two of them, some mica, which is from the void uh, resource miner, I guess. That's the only way to get it, by the looks of it. And then we've got the cell themselves, which is clear glass and photovoltaic cells and a bit of iron and all that. This is simple enough to make as well. So the cells themselves are easy enough. The first couple of tiers just are expensive, but easy enough. And then the tier three, well, this mica requires a resource miner. I would like to do a resource miner, but that is tier one resource miner. Gold, mossy cobblestone, netherrack, laser core, clear lens, end stone, end stone. I mean, we haven't been to the end properly yet, which we are planning on doing very soon. So maybe I could go into that when we've been to the end. Uh, but still, for right now, the highest tier I can do, in theory, is the tier 2. The same as Nonsanity's done, with the diamonds and the lapis, and uh, the gold and the lapis, to make all of those. So, I need to create enough stock in order to start making one of these. Uh, as you can see, I've been doing some mining, so I've got some good stuff around, but I've only got 12 lapis left. And I've only got uh, two blocks of gold and a bit here. There's not that much gold available to me. So I really do need to like process some materials and get some more mining done. So that is where I'm going to get started today. Uh, I'm going to be going to and from the mining dimension. I may take some of these uh, solar panels over there with me just to keep it running while I'm not there and then bring back the power supply when I come back. Ah, oh, but it's still a lot of work. It's still a long-winded process, but I will get there and hopefully I'll have one of these solar panels set up for you in this episode. Uh, check out the clip, right? Check out the clip for how I got the angel ring and I'll be back in a bit. There's a ghost. <laughs> Stop it, witch! Stop it! <laughs> ah. okay. No, this is this why Toddy died. <laughs> Killed by my presence. Do you want me to become visible? I I have to relog. <laughs> well, I don't know. Yes, you should, so I can see you, so I can say hello properly. But I also uh, was wondering why you were being so antisocial because, you know, there I was <laughs> visiting your house and you were... I, was, I wasn't uh, communicating, I wasn't saying anything because I, I was looking around like, who is it? Who is it? Who's there? Can you see me now? I can see you now. Hello. How are you ah, doing? I have body, I have, I have retaken physical form. How nice. <laughs> what is that armour you're wearing? Ah, uh, it's the... Um, uh, emeraldic crystal pants, etc. Emerald. Emeraldic. Emeraldic. Crystal. Oh. Yes. And is that pendant round your neck part of the armor? No, that is. I think the. It's from Botania. It's a pyroclast pendant. But it now shows up on the model of the character as they're wearing yes. it. Oh, that is cool. Yes. That's cool. Yes, it does. And I think if I had a Sojourner's Belt, well, I do. I think I have a Sojourner's Belt. Yes, is that, that doesn't where show is up. That? No, that's not showing. If no. You, if and the anything. wings. The wings. And the wings yeah. are obviously the wings. Yes, speaking of wings, that is precisely while I am here at your shop at Spawn today. 
Oh, well, come inside then and uh, behold my, I think behold. there is one, behold my wonderful merchandise. It, I'll let you go through the door. I will, I will just point out exactly that this is a new redesign because my warehouse is just over there and I've been seeing this uh, very nice house on the hill for a while now and uh -huh. it all changed. When I looked at yeah, it today, well, I thought I wanted to show off all the building blocks that I will be selling. All this cool. So I thought blocks. I'd redo. I thought I would redo the house. So most of the building blocks are from Botania. Botania building blocks all over the place. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, um, and invisible pressure plates. Yes. Yes. How are they invisible? Wooden pressure plates. Ender IO pressure plates. Are they? Yes. Painted. Painted with, with clear, clear glass. glass. Oh, that's a clever idea. That's a clever idea. I like that. I uh, do like Ender I.O. Yeah. Okay, um, so. Stock wise, you've got one thing over here, storage core at the minute with a load of those blocks that you've been making. Yes. Uh, and then there is a chest over here. This is so. the chest. The chest. Gas dinner lasso, 10 diamonds each. And it happens to be that there is the last one. And it yes. is mine. Da da da. Somebody if anybody gave... needs any more, I will have to go and hunt for them. Well, I'm glad I don't have to hunt for them. Have you got a special place to hunt them? Ah, oh, just in the Nether. I mean, they the ghasts spawn in the Nether like crazy. Usually so you, two so you or just three at a time. Fly around a bit with a lasso yeah. and off you go. Well, the thing is, once you have flight, it's a lot easier to catch them. Yes, yes, that is the when problem with have... the whole system, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. When you don't have flight, then it's quite difficult but at the very beginning I got this Botania Ender IO flight with the Rod of the Skies and the glider. The I remember Ender seeing that glider. episode yeah. So that was I mean that wasn't very easy to use in the nether it's not extremely safe but it's still better than <laughs> it sound walking pretty dangerous. around. <laughs> yeah. uh, the other method is just making one great big five by five corridor through yeah, the nether I guess and so. just keep and waiting then... for them to spawn but they take forever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, getting them into a spawner might be an idea for you. Ah, yes, I have been thinking about that, and especially if I could get them into a um, soul a shard. Uh, soul shard spawner, that yeah. would be great. So yeah. next up, I need to get a golden lasso with a bat in. Okay, do you have a golden lasso on I you? I do have a golden lasso on me. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, <laughs> so now. I should be able to craft that. The yep. wings. There you go. You can have that lasso back. Thank you very much for helping out. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank do you. you want one of these cursed ones as well? Because then you can restock your shop a little bit and I can get a discount on ah. the next purchase. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. Thank you. All right. So I don't, I don't think I've got my power supply up working yet. No. Uh, my power grid is of 29, so I can't physically fly just yet, but that's the next stage. Make it so I can fly, and I'm good. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, so to get started, I've I've taken the, taken the using this recipe saver here. It's quite nice, actually, because I get to save the recipes in there so I can remember or find them quickly to know exactly what it is I'm building up for and get all of my recipes all set up which is pretty cool i like i like it a lot um but but i think i've got everything i need i think i've got everything i need i i know i'm gonna need let's do this uh, and i'm gonna need a solar cell for this a solar cell for that and cell solar cell for that so i'm gonna need three solar cells um because each one of these requires one in the middle three solar cells means i need nine clear glass i've made the nine clear glass the clear glass is interesting because it's enriched sand, which is quartz and sand together makes enriched sand, and then you smelt it into clear glass. So that was a, that was a costly piece of glass, um, considering it's just clear glass as well. But I suppose it's being used in this, so crystal and quartz and all that kind of stuff. The photovoltaic cells, I'm also going to need nine of. So I've got that set up here. Uh, which means that I needed a lot of lapis, so I've been out mining until I've got enough lapis, I believe. Uh, and I think I need nine of those. I think that's right, yeah. And then for these, I'm going to need one, 
to three of those. Oh yeah, it's working so far. Uh, I did some gold sorting to get some gold blocks. Where are the gold blocks? Yeah, eight gold blocks. I should also have eight lapis blocks. Yep. And I made up eight, uh, four diamond blocks as well. So we've got this. So pop that in there. And then I need a second one of those. And then on this one, I need to get some more lapis, apparently. I miscalculated. Oh, which means I'm onto four lapis here. Oh, my days. Okay, well... Another thing that I know I needed to do was get an assembler. An assembler here. Uh, two pieces of obsidian and an alabaster structure block tier 2. Tier 2 re requires a couple of diamonds and a redstone and a tier 1. And tier 1 requires a couple of redstone and some gold around an alabaster block. Well, I managed to do that. Um, what I haven't figured out yet is exactly how to put it all together. How it all works. So we're going to test that out in the very morning. In the very morning it is too. Let's let's just sleep here actually. <laughs> I'm just going to sleep here. I've just been helping Dragon Fu out. He's out at the minute getting stacks of um, alabaster for a building project he's doing. So I just, uh, just grabbed a load of that for him. And I'm sure that helped. Uh, right, so up here somewhere. Let me start figuring this out. Now, I'm not going to keep it here. This is, again, experimentation time, right? So here is control panel tier 1, right? And if we remember what we saw over there at Non-Sanity's place, uh, it was a bigger builder structure. Now, an assembler, if we look at assembler, right-click on controllers to assemble. Shift and right-click insta-break insta any multi-block block. block left click to list all blocks needed for the multi-block so i left click it and it lists how many blocks i need so every solar cell must be able to see the sky okay any block above must be give me that back every <laughs> any block above must allow sunlight through okay this is going to generate 1152 rf per tick pretty awesome right uh, blocks required 16 structure block tier 1 or above above structure block so I presume that's the alabaster structure blocks that I've just been making 16 of those 4 modifier core or any upgrade version and 9 solar cells 9 solar cells so I've got to get 9 more of these solar cells that's a lot of lapis to make these and a lot of quartz to make the glass, but not a problem. We'll do that in a bit. And then the tier 1 structure blocks, I'll probably make a load of those. But what was that other thing that it mentioned? What was the other thing that it mentioned in here? It was a modifier core or any upgraded version. Modifier core. Uh-huh, okay. I don't know what one of those is these are mind controllers laser core laser core clear lens white lens orange lens brown lens blue lens gray lens dead lenses yep lots of lenses um modifier core there we go so this is a modifier core this is a base modifier can be used in the place of any modifier then there's a speed modifier shortened processing time doesn't work on generators Scrap that then. Um, peso modifier. Energy from vibrations like rain generate RF. Okay, that's good. Accuracy modifier. Increases the accuracy works on void miners. Okay. Launcher. No. So I need a basic modifier core. Basic modifier core requires some more of those clear glass, some stone, and a block of iron. So that's not too bad. The clear glass is potentially the stumbling block because I need a lot of quartz to make the glass. Um, but still, we're getting there slowly but surely. I miscalculated the lapis slightly, so I need to go and get the rest of the lapis to make that into one of the, the cores that I need and check out what I need for all the quartz and stuff. But I'll be back in just a bit. Alrighty, well, I've been busy 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 not only have i dug some more out because i needed some more resources but i needed tons more resources like tons and tons in order to make this solar panel controller tier two i needed four modifier cores 
24 hardened stone structure blocks tier 2. Not just tier 1. Tier 1 costs 2 gold apiece. Tier 2 costs 2 diamonds apiece. Uh, with a tier 1. And then the solar cells, which cost tons and tons of lapis. 25 of those, which meant I needed 75 of the cells inside that and 20 uh, and 75 of the glass to go into that as well and 25 iron and 50 redstone lots of expenses but i've managed to grab it all and drag it all together and now i want to construct it um i'm thinking that i'm just going to construct it on here like this i'm just going to build this up like this and then i'm going to put it on the top of this and then the power should go straight into the storage just so that my quarry can run efficiently and fast now according to the assembler uh, right click on the controllers to assemble shift right click to insta break any multi block and left click to list all blocks needed so i did that to figure out how much i needed for everything and now i should be able to right click and everything appears slowly but surely i've just got to keep clicking i guess I hold right click and it builds it all there we go all right so now we should be gaining a ton of power uh well actually it's on zero why is it on zero because that has using it as fast as it's producing it has it achieved a kind of a, um, a level a plateau has it achieved the level that's obviously operating still this is not having any in or out it's got 3000 maximum output 3000 maximum input uh, let's turn this down a little bit uh, let's go with 2000 output so we should be gaining then yep we're gaining a thousand RF per tick so we're easily able to put in the full 3000 RF per tick but this said that it was um, 6,400 RF per tick. So why am I limited to 3,000? Because of the input. So let's see if we can input 6,000. No, because its maximum is 3,000. So I'd need to upgrade this um, energy cell in order to make it more efficient overall for me, which I'm going to have to do. But for right now, 3000 RF a tick is a nice stable to be at right and this will use 3000 RF per tick just as soon as I start creating stuff like this look uh, another problem that I've got now is that this fills up too fast so I brought a modular storage with me I'm going to make a mess make a mess thank you make a mess um, stick a few bits and pieces back into there out the way uh, there we go and the chest and I'm gonna put the modular storage on the top and hope that that will work with this remote storage of ID 17 ID 17 is block storage oh look it's definitely yeah it's doing it so it will fill that up straight away and all I have to then do is come along and empty out or devise a system for emptying out things like the gold ore and the iron ore when I can physically touch the ores to take them out to the blocks but it does mean that all of the blocks that we are going to create or generate in the quarry are all going to go into one modular storage system and it's wirelessly connected via this remote storage module that we dealt with last episode to go and do the things that we need it to do so it'll just carry on digging straight through the world and dig the world out and give me all of the resources and it does so fairly swiftly as well and now it's going to fill up because it's finished its process so this will fill up first by 3000 rf per tick and this will can then fill up as well giving me plenty of reserves so really what I need to do next is upgrade the capacitor bank um, cap capacitor bank from a basic capacitor bank to an, an advanced capacitor bank which has got more in it this one here which requires capacitor banks to be upgraded two to make one with a double layer and some energetic alloy that is 
that is the way forward, I believe. Yeah, 5,000. Yeah, 5,000 RF. So presumably that will increase the maximum output as well. So that is the next thing to upgrade <coughs> onto that. I could potentially upgrade it so that I'm only having one because this would all fit together in the quarry section. So that could fit up there, which means that I only actually need one capacitor bank behind here and set up this on top of it quite easily. Yep, I can do that. So that'll be the next upgrade, but that is for another episode. I am quite pleased with the massive power supply of this solar power in my quarry. So thank you all very much for watching today's episodes. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we got flight. We got a massive solar power uh, system to generate quarry after quarry after quarry worth of stuff. And I should be good to go now. By the end of the week, we are preparing to fight the dragon in the end, which means that the warehouse needs to be kind of finished up because once we've defeated the dragon, I plan on moving in to the end dimension and doing my main base build in the end. Fingers crossed that goes well, but I do have flight now, so I should be okay in the end without having to worry about falling down into the void. Precautions and bits and pieces here and there still, but... That is for another episode. Thank you very, very much for watching today's Avant on the, T, uh, the FTOG server. I will see you in the next very soon. Uh, goodbye. Mm -hmm.